Hello everybody, I'm Tom and today we're going to install this Bosch Series 300 dishwasher that you can buy in America at either Lowe's or Home Depot or elsewhere online. Now one thing that I want to mention that's a bit strange is, although this is a German product, it is made in America. And the funny thing is, is in Germany, they have a connection actually on a hose that you can just attach directly to your water line. But here in America, they don't have it that way they have a strange three quarter inch attachment here on the bottom and you need an adapter for that. So you need to buy yourself an adapter kit. This is a water hose to three eighths inch uh, elbow adapter. You need to buy this and a braided hose. They both come in a kit like this. I'm not sure why Bosch does it that way, why you need to buy this adapter kit, but you need it. Make sure to buy that with your dishwasher. Okay guys, so this is how the dishwasher comes packaged. It's actually a very nice packaging with this uh, nice foam here. It comes even with some wood surrounds to strengthen it. And it comes with some directions. It comes with some clips to attach it as well as to uh, a clip for the sewage hose. And it comes with this nice power cord here. If you do not have an outlet underneath as we do right there then you are going to have to buy an adapter kit which comes with a junction box let's go ahead and unpack it these wooden beams are going to actually be nice for projects okay right here you can see it's made in the usa of us and imported parts okay so this is the three quarter inch connection right here that i was talking about before and i only have ever seen this like outside on garden hoses in america normally it's a three eighths inch so we need to take this adapter here and screw it on and it says in the directions to screw it on hand tight first. And you'll notice there is a rubber O gasket in there. And that is going to keep the connection nice and tight and leak free. And we're going to tighten until it's hand tight. And then we're going to tighten it one more half turn. And now keep in mind, we also have to think of the direction that our hose is going to go. Since our connection is here on the right side of our dishwasher, we have to point the hose going in that direction, obviously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark where we're hand tight here, just on the top, and I'm going to tighten it another half turn. Okay, I only tightened it slightly more um, than a quarter because you don't want to over tighten it. It was already getting extremely tight even with the wrench. So that's going to be good to go. And now it's time to attach our 3 8 inch hose on there. Now this adapter kit comes with a few extra adapters that we're not going to need. We've got some reducers here, we got an elbow. Keep these because you never know when you might not when you might need them in the future. Okay, you'll see that this Bosch dishwasher comes with a, a couple of loops, one on each side. That is to hold on to your pipes and your cable uh, as they go through there. So since we're going in this direction, we need to put our sewage as well as our fresh water line through that loop and later our power cord. So what we're going to do next is attach this 3 8 inch hose right here to that elbow and we are going to tighten it here with a wrench and we're not going to over tighten. Okay, we've got to be careful to do that. And again, here we've got that rubber O-ring and that is what uh, makes a good connection for so it doesn't leak. It does not say here to use pipe dope or to use Teflon tape, so I'm just going to do it according to the directions. Okay, that's hand tight. Okay, now I'm going to take this 5 8 inch wrench and just tighten it up, just snug it up. And I'm going to support that elbow while I'm doing so, because we don't want to torque on that elbow. We certainly don't want to torque either on the plastic fitting that the elbow is connected to. Just want to snug it up and that's good, just like that. Hi, sweetie. You want to be in the video? Okay. Hand me that cable over there. Hand me that cable, Delisha. Okay. Or don't. So the next thing we got to do is just feed this cable through here and attach that. Just like so. Just to clean things up, I'm going to cinch these up together so that they travel nice. All right. And now we are ready to feed these lines through the hole here in our counter. Before we do that, we have to remove this plastic piece. We may need to use this later. So let's start feeding through. Okay, now you can pull them through on this side. 
make sure that your hoses are not kinking or anything. Okay, so the directions say to push the dishwasher in about two thirds of the way and pull on the hoses and make sure that nothing is kinked and they're still good. So now we can keep going. Now, before we go any further, make sure that you do not plug this in until the very end. What we're going to do next is attach the water line. This is the fresh water. And very important, this is the hot water. Make sure that you're connecting to hot water. It says here that you're aiming for 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Water that's too hot can cause some detergents to lose their effectiveness and lower water temperature is going to increase the runtime. So here we got our hot water connection. That is where we're going to connect to. Again, we're going to do this one hand tight first, and then we're going to snug it up with a 5 8 inch wrench. Okay, that's nice and snug. Okay, the next thing that we have to do is attach the sewage hose. In this case, because we have a garbage disposal directly to the garbage disposal, just squeeze it on there. It's going to take a little bit of effort, and you got this clamp here to make sure it stays put. Okay, now before we go any further, let's open up the water and make sure that we don't have any leaks anywhere. So here we're good to go. No leaks there. Okay, thankfully we can see through the hole that there's nothing there leaking onto the floor either. So we are good on both ends. Okay, now because we want this sewage line to be up higher than the inlet here, we want to mount it up higher back back there so we're going to snap the top off of this i already did that and we're going to mount that up there so that we can make sure the hose stays up there okay great now that is mounted up there and it is higher than the inlet here we're good to go okay the next thing that we have to do is insert the mounting brackets i'm going to insert them this way and one on each side like this it says to actually bend these tabs downward, but there's actually no room to bend them downward. So we're gonna bend them up. And that way, the bracket cannot lose its position. Now, now the bracket is stuck in place. And here we're going to lift the tab up like that. And on the other side as well. And now that one. Let's go ahead and push it in. We want to make sure that we are spaced evenly on both sides. And next, we're going to try to close the, this gap here with the feet down here. Okay, in order to raise the dishwasher, we have to put a slotted screwdriver in the feet and just go to the left, like so, counterclockwise, and that's going to lift it up. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Let's lift this one up a little bit. In the directions, it says to use a level. That would be ideal if you've got a level to make sure that you are level left to right. You can also go ahead and use a wrench to lift it up. That's going to give you a bit more power than just using the screwdriver. Okay, so far we're just raising the left and the right front side, but we also want to raise the back. So in order to raise the back it's kind of like a tripod it's three-legged in order to raise the back we just have to crank on this screw here in the middle clockwise to raise it up we want the whole thing to be level all right now that we've got it positioned here left and right and we've got it as level as we can it's time to drill a hole into the top cabinet to make sure that it's mounted properly. So that's what we're going to do. We're just gonna put the provided screws into those holes. Now it's time to put the bottom panel on and for that we got these brackets right here. They get pushed in like that. All right, then the last thing there is to do is just put on that bottom plate and adjust the height to be where we want it and stick a screw in there. Good deal. Now we got the plate mounted. It's on there nice and tight. Now let's plug it in and test it out.
Thanks very much for watching, guys, and check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free.